Create a handmade card as a gift that keeps on giving. When this book creates not only one card, but four cards inside, this is a really simple technique that you can use for Christmas like I'm gonna do now or all year long for weddings, birthdays, just because you wanna celebrate somebody. This here is perfect for gift cards or if you're like me with four young kids at home, you wanna send a card for each of those kids each special little season. So all the grandparents and uncles and aunts will get their own packet just like this with a picture of each kid inside their own card. This is Jamie with gettingcrafty.net. And today's wild card Wednesday is a card that's a book that's full of cards. How about that? Easy to create and fun to do. This envelope book and card system is so much fun. And we're gonna use Trimming the Town Suite from Stampin' Up! to create a handmade, beautiful Christmas card that's a book and card collection in one. Let's go ahead and create right now. If you haven't, make sure you take a second to like this post, subscribe, let me know how many kids you have at home, or if you would use this for a birthday or a Christmas or whatever, this is a great gift to give. Let me know what you think. Go ahead and subscribe now, hit that bell so you're notified when we join and create three times a week, if not more. I look forward to creating with you right this right now. You can see the full tutorial on my blog at gettingcrafty.net. Let's go ahead and wow right now. Create with me in just a few moments this wonderful gift idea. See this great collection here? We're not going to even stamp today. With the use of our paper snips, we're going to be fussy cutting this gorgeous suite called Trimming the Town. This suite includes coordinating ribbon, the poppy ribbon with gold trim that we'll be using, Trimming the Town Designer Series paper, item number 153491. You will also be incorporating our uh, note cards. Note cards make a great gift. And here you go, you get 20 note cards in Whisper White and Coordinating Envelopes, 131527. And right now we need five envelopes, one, two, three, four, five. And we need four note cards. They are come pre-scored and ready for you. One, two, three, and four, yes. We also are gonna start with the outside of this card. We're gonna incorporate that ribbon and we have used the designer series paper to fussy cut. So let me show you what we've done so far. Um, I really have embraced my paper trimmer on this as well. We have the old olive card stock that is cut at three and three quarters by five and a quarter. Three and three quarters by five and a quarter. This will be the outsides of this um, card slash book. We have two of those using one sheet of bolded olive cardstock. Then we have this front designer series paper tied to the design, that collection. It's three and a half by five inch. Three and a half by five inches. And we need from this collection of designer series paper, let me just show it to you why we don't even have to stamp today. This is a paper that's packed with imagery that's gorgeous, easy to use. You can see a variety of homes, people, scenes, and even this polka dot sheet. I mean, seriously, the polka dots own me. All these papers are just double-sided and they're great to use all year long. We're actually gonna be fussy cutting some greetings right out of this sheet right here so that we can use these on all of the cards. So when you look at the back, you can see that they have a great collection of imagery. So pretty. Look at those trees. Oh my goodness. I love all of them. I could keep going and going, but we're going to hop on into this project. We actually grabbed this piece of designer series paper and we were fussy cutting out the variety of houses and the little bug. The bug is important to us in our family because my kids have all learned from a family friend how to rebuild VW bugs. And um, it's actually what kick-started my kids' dreams into um, their future line of business, which is kind of interesting to learn. Um, so let's see here. The Poppy Parade cardstock is what we're going to need, and that we're going to cut. That's going to be three and a quarter by four and three quarters. 
And the designer series papers that will go on the front of the note cards are three inches by four and a quarter. So we have four different designs here, all perfectly coordinated. Let me show you how that looks right now. I'm setting those to the side, setting my trimmer aside. We're going to untie this little bow. And you can see here, we've incorporated the cardstock, a little greeting right here, the little house across the front. And when you open it, you have one, two, three, four different little cards inside. Tidings of comfort and joy. Great little note card. I'll put a note about each of my kids in this and send it to uh, their grandparents and my aunt, who is like their other grandma. My parents passed away already, so I'm really grateful for the people in our life that allow my kids to be um, bonus grandkids of sorts. And right there, this is so sweet and easy to do. And it folds all up. You can put gift cards inside. If I were sending this to a family with four children, I would put a little gift for all four kids inside. And we're going to end up folding that up and, well, I would tuck them all back in. So as you can see, a handmade gift like this card and book in one would be a wonderful way to bless people while being unique and interesting. And it'll sit on somebody's shelf beautifully, beautifully. And it's not much thicker than a card. You can actually stick this in a full-size envelope and mail it on its happy little way. It might need extra postage. Because, actually, it will need extra postage because of the weight. So just keep that in mind. And it's a little stiff, so it might go out as a package. You have to be careful with the post office on that. Now, um, I do encourage you to have your paper trimmer and that kind of thing, but let's go ahead and lay out our note cards. We're gonna go ahead and fold all of those and use the bone folder. We're gonna start with the envelopes. I like to start just like so. And then we're gonna take my um, multi-purpose liquid adhesive. Actually want it like so. I like the flap to go forward. And we're going to take the multi-purpose liquid adhesive and go around. We don't want it to be too thick and goopy. And we're going to place the next envelope here. And it goes right on top of that seam, right above the seam, honestly. And the multi-purpose liquid adhesive takes a second to dry, so it helps you with placement. You can turn it over and give it a little rub from behind. And we're gonna go ahead and do five envelopes this way and fold and bone fold the note cards. I like to do the note cards um, where the, the crescent is on the inside, the, the bump is on the inside, the, the valley's on the out. We fold it with our fingers, pinch, pinch, pinch. And using the bone folder, give a nice impression right here. And we're gonna do all of our cards and our envelopes just like that. Four envelopes, I mean five envelopes, four note cards. Okay, so we have four handy dandy little note cards that we're going to decorate right now. Now this project, if you have more children or more gifts to send or a personal little note or anything like that, you can keep adding envelopes. Um, and so you'll just add one extra envelope, uh, then you need cards. That's what I would recommend. And now we're gonna take the Poppy Parade card stack. One sheet's gonna create the four liners that we need for those note cards. This will be at three and a quarter by four and three quarters. So we're gonna make sure we feel the card for the lip. Now, if you have a question what the lip has to do with our, um, so it goes to three and a quarter here. Um, with our cardstock, look for the basics of stamping video this week. It's gonna go over your friendly, better ways to do your crafting. So three and a quarter with your paper. So the basics of stamping will be how to do your card stocks in a better way. Don't get rid of this strip. You need this strip. This strip's going to be used throughout our project as we go along. And then we're gonna stack the two pieces and we're gonna cut them to four and three quarters. That's four and three quarters of an inch. Liner up, make sure they tap here. And then four and three quarters. 
And yes, they're stacked. It still cuts all the way through. They perfectly line up. Easy peasy. And again, we're going back to four and three quarters right here. And don't get rid of your strips. You need them. You could actually trim them right now if you wanted. I'm going to trim them to half inch marks right here. Our paper trimmer allows me to do that easily. It's got a border and measures both ways. So we'll need a couple of those. We'll take this one strip and we'll just do that. So we're gonna go one, whoopsie, I hit the button. Here we go, sorry. One, and then we're gonna do the other one. That'll give me three out of this one piece of paper right here. Boom, boom, boom. I love it when there's no waste on a project. Then, because we were using the, we've already cut the old olive cardstock for the front and back. Again, that is at three and three quarters by five and a quarter for the old olive. And this piece of designer series paper is three and a half inches by five inches. We are going to use that strip right here the same way. We need a half inch strip. We need two of them. One of your extra cuts allows for that. And then we're going to take, and we need some greetings. Hello, greetings. Well, guess what? This paper pack comes prepared that you can fussy cut or use your paper trimmer in a multitude of languages to get your greetings. So I like to go in an area like towards the bottom of a project. Now you can use your paper snips. Those are easy. If you're like me, you have a little tremor though that might bother you um, to do. So what I'm going to do is use my paper trimmer. You can use this line that you see right here to fall in line. So I place that like so. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys to see. Right there. And I make sure that it is lined up with that center line right there. And I'm gonna go all the way up. And if you look, it cuts it beautifully right around the tis the season. Um, you can use, let's see if there's other languages there, maybe you don't use those as much. Um, and we're gonna come up, I've got deck the halls cut right here. Let's trim out the other side of the deck the halls. And it's right here on the bottom. I wanna make sure it's right in the line. And these are gonna cut little quarter inch greetings for you. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And actually, because I'm a little bit shaky today, I wanna make sure I line this up like so. And I wanna get that tis the season out of there with very little effort. I like a nice, sharp, clean edge right there. And this reminds me of the little clicker ribbons uh, label maker that I do. It's a retro label maker that came out when I was a kid, if I remember correctly. I remember using it even then. And I'm gonna come up here and look for some greetings. Hearts come home, have a very merry little Christmas. I like both of those, so let's go ahead and trim those out. One of the things I love most about being an international company is that I get to celebrate all the words of the season. Look at that great greeting collection. And we already cut that piece to cover the front of this note card. So let's go ahead. We've got a lot of this put together. Don't lose these little bits and baubles and your little half inch strips that will circle that. Then let's put the baby together. I like to start with the front and, ba and back. We're gonna do those last, actually. I think that'll just be easier that way. Let's make your little note cards first. So you have your four little Poppy Parade card stocks. You have your four different designer series paper, and we have a collection of little houses that were already fussy cut. So we're gonna incorporate those and our greetings all together. My daughter fussy cut those out for me, isn't she sweet? Then I like a little, um, let's go ahead and put the labels together. I like to use contrast, so that's a good thing. 
and you need five greetings and five little strips. So we've got all five right there. It's just gonna be a little fussiness. And I'm going to use our multi-purpose liquid adhesive to put them together. So for example, I'm gonna take a Carts Come Home and don't look at, don't lose that Be Merry. Um, ooh, and that red piece. And we're gonna put it together just like this. So we're gonna take the multi-purpose liquid adhesive, which I threw the lid right now across my desk. And we're going to place it down where it has framed on all three sides. And then we're gonna put the rest of them together right now. We will take an adhesive, the designer series paper to the poppy parade to the note cards and put on the greetings. Oh my goodness, with our mini dimensionals, we can really make these little houses pop. They are so easy to just fussy cut out, snippity snip. I had my 14-year-old uh, doing that for me. Always makes me happy when my kids can participate, especially since these will be going out to our family and friends this year with all four of those little kids inside. So um, we will look here, we're gonna create the back. So if you didn't notice, I had tucked the flap inside of the back of this last envelope and we're going to go ahead and uh, oh actually no we're not <laughs> we're going to take the front and put the front on first and i'll show you why we're going to take the envelope here and be a little generous with this multi-purpose liquid adhesive you want to give it it's the front it's going to be interactive it needs to handle everything i'm going over the flap i'm going over all of that and then we're gonna take the cardstock and make sure that it's facing the correct way. Put it down, put the card across the back of it and center it as best you can. It's going to have a little frame. So if you look there, it's gonna have about a quarter of an inch frame, which gives you about an eighth of an inch all the way around, just like this, a nice little rub. And then we're gonna take the ribbon. Now this is the coordinating ribbon. And can I just talk about how beautiful this ribbon is? So snipping it, we're going to tie it around the card. Yes, the back is not on yet. So go ahead and place this just like so and do a little knot. Don't be naughty this Christmas. <laughs> or if you're like me, you are always a little naughty. We're tied up in knots. We can go all day with these little puns. It's kind of fun to do the pun. I'll punch you another one. <laughs> I could go with like dad jokes all day long. Beautiful coordinating ribbon. Now we're gonna come back here and we're gonna place the multi-purpose liquid adhesive pretty generous around the ribbon. We're not going to touch the ribbon. This can be pretty interactive, it's easy. All we're trying to do is help contain that um, back. So it's gonna keep the ribbon on there. You're gonna put this down and create your chubby little, little card book right here. Give it a nice rub. And I want you guys to know, always, always, always sign the back of the card with the date of which you sent it. Reason being is my grandmother saved all these notes and correspondences for us. And it's fun to look back and know when we sent it or when letters were sent to her. Now we're going to untie it and we're going to open up our little package and put the cards inside. So we have four happy little pockets. Now, if you had gift cards, this is a great way to do that. So we're gonna take our card. Now the house is lifted with a Stampin' Dimensional. You wanna make sure you get any little bits and bobbly trash off. And you wanna lift the envelope to stick that inside. Now I'm gonna be putting wallet-sized cards of my kids inside of each one with a little note about their kids for all the family. 
this is one of those projects that's worth wowing. And I thought it was funny. I didn't know when I purchased this that we were going to be selling our current house and buying a new one. So who knew that we would be celebrating houses this year and people? Well, then again, we should always celebrate people. I love that polka dot. I have to say polka dot might be my favorite. And... Uh, you might model it after which of your kids' personalities or a gift card inside. And if it was for four kids, say I was sending this to my house, I would put each child's name on the outside so they all opened it up and inside there was a gift. So here we go. We're going to close this up. We're going to take, remember it's kind of loose back there. It's adhesive, but not perfectly adhesive. It gives me a nice little pocket to hold it all in. And we're going to tie it. This is where my kids' fingers come into play really easily. Um, so let's go ahead, tie a little bow. If you're not as nimble as I am, <laughs> look at that, that became a hot mess. Okay, I had to go get a child because I'm feeling not as nimble right now. So we're gonna tie this in a little knot. And then Arabella, can you do me a favor and put your finger right on the knot, on the knot, and hold it tight. I'm gonna tie this around it, but I won't keep your finger in it. This is my youngest, you guys. You wanna say hi to everybody? Say hello, Merry Christmas. Hello. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You are a big girl, you don't need to be all shy. So there you go, we have this beautiful tied little book. And I'm gonna show you how it fits inside, well actually I don't, it will fit inside of a traditional card because it is um, shorter than four and a quarter by five and a half. It's gonna be rounded. So if I were to send this out, which I will be, this will go inside of a card or a padded envelope or padded five by seven card so that our family, with our Christmas letter and our family photo. So that's usually what I do is I send a Christmas letter, family photo, and this is a great way to celebrate. So if we're gonna show you again on this one, I'm gonna undo it, even though I just had my daughter do that with you. And we're gonna go one, two, and it's the card that's the kit that keeps on giving and giving. It's a gift that keeps on giving. It's a little book, it's a collection of cards, and it's all one big card right there. How easy is that? Nice and neat, make sure you sign a personal little note inside and this little packet comes together beautifully. I have to say this is one of my favorite sweets, Trimming the Town Suite. It's great. Stampin' Up! still has it. I would use this all year long. I love it, love it, love it. And both cards are slightly different because you just fussy cut them differently. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you're watching this right now, make sure if you haven't already to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. And if you look right here, there's more Wild Card Wednesday videos for you. And there's a series right here with the quite curvy um, suite. You can enjoy the quite curvy suite with us and you can subscribe to create with us all week long. With our basics of stamping and more coming your way, we're gonna make you a better stamper every day. Thanks for joining me. And if I don't see you, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. But join and play with us all week long. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. Merry Christmas. Bye.